All right, so what we're gonna talk about, uh, our new little review, this is the spring 2010 uh, release test for the grade seven uh, mathematics. Uh, if you care to find the test, it is at this website down here. So let's take a look at this first question. This is Sandy made nine free throws out of 12 free throw attempts in a basketball game. What percentage of the free throw attempts did Sandy make? Uh, so this is just a percent, so you, we're just going part over a whole equals percent over a hundred. So she attempted nine and she took 12. So nine is going to be your part, 12 is going to be your whole, and then we're going to have, my, I don't know my percent, so it's going to be my x over a hundred. All right, so when we solve these, we just cross multiply. So I go 12x equals 900. And then we need to divide by uh, 12. So we can take a look at that. So we can go 900 divided by 12, and so that's going to equal 75. So if we divide both sides by 12, uh, x would equal 75. And since it was in the percent spot, it's 75%. All right, number two says, Charlie's Restaurant advertised that 3% of the total amount of money earned on Tuesday will be donated to a local charity. At this same rate, which statement is most likely true? Uh, so what they're telling you to do is uh, you're going to have 3% of whatever this number is. So uh, you're going to, again, use part over a whole equals percent over 100. So Charlie's Restaurant earned a total of 500. So for F, uh, the whole was 500. So we don't know the part equals. And since we we're talking about 3%, uh, we're going to put the 3 here over 100. So this is going to be 100x equals 1,500 divided by 100. So x would equal 15. Uh, so my part would be 15. So that's not right because they said 3. All right, G, uh, again, we're going to go X over 700 equals 3 over 100. So this is going to be 100X equals 2100. Divide by 100, X equals 21. So there you go. We got our uh, thing there, so 21. Uh, if we were to care to do this, um, H would end up giving us X over... Uh, 3 equals 3 over 100, which would be 100x equals 9, which would be 0 0.09. So that would be 9 cents, so that wouldn't work. And then uh, this one would be uh, 27 cents. Okay, so there you go. G would be your answer on that one. All right, number three says, what number is equal to 2 times 8 minus 4 divided by 4? So this is just order of operations. So remember, it's parentheses, exponents, multiply, divide, add, subtract. So remember, if multiplication, division are on the same line, we just do it from left to right. Let's go ahead and move this. Oops, move this over. So maybe not. We'll just erase it. Move that so we can solve our problem underneath. So again, parentheses, exponents, multiply, divide, add, subtract. So no parentheses, no exponents. Uh, we have multiplication and division. So since multiply is the first thing we come into, we're going to go ahead and do that. So 16 minus 4 divided by 4. Uh, we're now going to do the division. So 4 divided by 4 is 1. 16 minus 1 is 15. All right, which expression is equivalent to negative 5 minus negative 7? So equivalent just means equals. Uh, we can use our stay change opposite. So stay change opposite. That means negative 5 stays the same. We can change minus to a plus. That means i got to take the opposite of negative 7, which is positive 7. So now I have negative 5 plus 7. Those have different signs, so we're going to subtract. 7 minus 5 is 2. Uh, and take the sign of the bigger number. So uh, we had 5 negatives and 7 positives. Uh, so this is going to be a 2. So over here, uh, what they were looking for was just this part. So since we did that, uh, we know that this is going to be here. But you could plug this stuff into a calculator, and when you put that in a calculator, it would give you two. 
Uh, this one would give you 2, this one would give you negative 12, this one would give you positive 12, and this one would give you negative 2. So the only one that ended up giving you the same exact thing was F. So if you couldn't remember how to do state change opposite, uh, you also could have just solved each one of them, and whichever one gave you the same thing. All right, this one we got Michael bought a stereo on sale for 20% off the regular price. The regular price of the stereo was $180. What was the sale price of the stereo? All right, so uh, he got 20% off the regular price. The regular price of the stereo was 180. So again, part over a whole equals percent over 100. So this wasn't the part uh, because they told you that the total price was 180. So we're going to go x over 180 equals 20 over 100. That's going to give me 100x equals um, 3600. We're going to divide by 100, so x is going to equal 36. All right, now, <clears throat> they have 36 as an answer, but this is asking us what our sale price was. 36 is what 20% off was, so this was my discount. So in order to actually solve this, I have to go 180 minus 36. So we're going to borrow from the 8. So we're going to make that 4. 7 minus 3 is 4. $144. <clears throat> All right, number six, Tom needs two tablespoons of cleaning product for every five quarts of water. How many tablespoons of cleaning product uh, would he need for four quarts of water? So for this, we're just going to set up a proportion. Uh, we know that we need two tablespoons uh, for every five quarts. Uh, and that's going to equal whatever my other proportion is. So since they said uh, four quarts down here and we put quarts in the bottom, we need to make sure we keep it on the bottom. And this is going to be my x. So now cross multiply. 5 times x is x, 5x, and 2 times 4 is 8. Divide both sides by 5. So x equals uh, 8 fifths, which we can simplify to 1 and 3 fifths, which, since they put that as a decimal, is just 1.6. All right, number seven. The record high temperature for a certain U.S. state is 104 degrees Fahrenheit. The record low for the same state is negative 14 degrees Fahrenheit. What is the difference between the record high and the low for this state? So difference means subtraction. So you're going to go 104 minus a negative 14. State change opposite, so we could change that to 104 plus 14, uh, which is just 118. So that's pretty quick and easy. All right, which list is ordered from least to greatest? Uh, so you should notice that in every single one of these, you have 3 eighths, you have a 5 sixths, you have a 2 ninths, and a 7 elevenths. Uh, so uh, first thing you should always do when you're comparing stuff like this is you should convert them all to decimals, and then we can compare. So remember, to convert 3 eighths to a decimal, you're just going 3 divided by 8, so 0 0.375, right? 5 6, 5 divided by 6 is 0 0.83 repeating. That's what that little bar means, is repeating. 2 divided by 9, or 2 ninths, is 0 0.2 repeating. And then finally, 7 divided by 11, whoops. 7 divided by 11 is going to be 0 0.63 with that stuff repeating. All right, now, we want from least to greatest, so we're looking for the smallest. So I'm looking for the smallest number uh, for the first. So I got all zeros, so I'm going to move to the next one. So I got a 3, 8, a 2, and a 6. So my smallest one is going to be 2 ninths because 2 is the smallest. So 2 ninths is my smallest, so that one's gone. Uh, next one, I got 3, 8, and 6. So 3 is the next smallest. So next one is 3 eighths. And then 8 and 6. So next one should be 7 elevenths. And then finally, 5, 6. So looking for 2 ninths, 3 eighths, 7 elevenths, and 5, 6. Right there. So again, just convert them all to decimal and compare. All right, number 9. Manuel can paint 5 pictures in 12 and a half hours. At this rate, 
which proportion can be used to find P, the number of pictures Manuel can paint in eight hours. So you always just compare what you first have. So it was five picks in 12.5 hours. And that's going to equal, and since they gave you hours on the bottom here, we're going to keep it on the bottom. And they wanted to represent the pictures in P, so it would be 5 over 12.5 equals P over 8.